Hello people, uh, today I thought I would like to do a video going over uh, my new design of my classic fuzz. Uh, before I was using decals and a lot of them looked really cool, I have to say. But some of them didn't really look too cool. And it was kind of always nerve-wracking trying to drill the holes correctly and make sure you don't hurt yourself while you're doing it. And now when I use a sticker like this, I can always drill the holes pretty much straight. And I find it safer and it's just you can repeat it more. And so the first difference would have to be the design of the enclosure. It says classic fuzz. It looks kind of psychedelic, pretty far out looking little design. Uh, took me a while to come up with. And uh, these, these versions of my Classic Fuzz actually have some different parts in them. They have uh, higher quality potentiometers. They have uh, what they call a reverse logarithmic uh, 1K gain potentiometer, which means that more of the rotation on the gain is going to be fuzz. Whereas if you use a linear, it turned, it, most of your fuzz is at the very, like, probably top, 10 or 20 percent of your knob of the rotation of your gain knob so i th i think that these are, are are an improvement now the other classic fuzzes are still good but these these ones just take a little bit you know more fancy parts and uh and they're just standardized and it really kind of cuts down my workflow because it's really like I'm rolling the dice with some of these decals because sometimes when you put these decals on they just don't look right you know or it's really easy to to drill some holes crooked and and so uh you know this is why we have standardized the design here at Dad Tech my company's called Dad Tech stands for Detroit Analog Devices it's just me, you know, I'm not going to go around saying it's we at Dad Tech. If I say we, it just means that we, you and I, are going to go over this pedal. So we're going to do a quick demo of what this pedal sounds like. And uh, this is a Dallas Arbiter, pretty much a clone, with silicon transistors. Dallas Arbiter, I believe, they switched to silicon transistors in 68. I think it was in 68 or 69. And uh, people get real big money for, for pedals that have germanium transistors. And, but the problem with finding tr germanium transistors is you have to test all of them. They're kind of hard to get, get a hold of. They're more expensive. And you're going to probably buy a lot of transistors and just find the good ones. And so that's why a lot of small builders tend to charge more for uh, germanium transistors in their pedals. But me, I just like to keep it simple, and this is, I, I believe this is really comparable to something that would, would have been around in the late 60s. So, uh, really, a lot of uh, Hendrix's stuff was recorded with silicon transistors, but don't quote me on that. I don't want to start some kind of, like, history lesson or people argue, arguing with me, but I think that silicon transistors are, are just fine, you know. And they're cheaper, and it's affordable. This is completely 100% handmade pedal, hand sonnet. I do everything in this room, and uh, you know, and that's why this room is pretty messy. And so sometimes I like to put off doing videos because I gotta clean up. I gotta clean up. So uh, let's hear what this baby sounds like. We're gonna be just doing some old school types of moves on the guitar. And if my guitar cuts out a little bit, it's because I need to replace the jack on uh, my guitar. And it's always the same old deal with those jacks that are on the sides of the guitar. Don't you just hate that? Every single guitar that I have with the jack on the side does that because I play sitting down. And that's one of the reasons I really like playing the Strat. But I've really gotten into playing with my H string, you know. It's just really a reliable sound for me these days. So I know this is a little bit long-winded. And uh, let's hear what this pedal sounds like. And I'll check in now and get, now and... You know, we're just going to hear what this baby sounds like. All right, so we have our H string, and we are going to start playing with it. We're going to show you the clean sound first, and then I'm going to switch it on, all right? This is full up gain, full up, dis full up volume. These pedals aren't really that loud of pedals. The originals weren't that loud either. 
So if you're used to modern pedals, this might be a little bit different for you, but they sound really good. They combine with effects very well because a lot of times if you push an effect like a, like a digital reverb or a digital delay, if you push it too hard, it's just going to clip out. It's going to sound like crap anyway. But with this pedal, you don't have to worry about that. But you can always put a boost after it or something if you want it to be louder. That's our clean tone. So a lot of people with the with the old school fuzzes, they really like to just have both knobs up all the way and then they just control with their volume knob. This is exactly what I was just doing back there. And uh, I, I think it sounds pretty good. But uh, let's roll back the gain a little bit just so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so now we're at about three quarters. We're going to hear what this thing sounds like. So that's what it sounds like with the gain rolled back. Uh, you can get some pretty uh, like mild sounds out of it. People really like using these fuzzes. They are a world famous effect. And now, Dad Tech, we're selling them. 
We're selling them. And we are trying to give people a good deal. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, just uh, feel free to write me on uh, Reverb. We're selling these on Reverb right now because it's just a lot easier than running two stores. I was selling on Sweetwater Gear Exchange, but now it's just easier for me to use one place because they finally let me have a Reverb account. But, uh, you know, uh, so this is a classic fuzz. You heard it. You heard what it sounds like. This is the news, newest version. I think it's superior, superior to the old ones. The old ones are, are, are still good. So you should still buy those two. But uh, the main thing I like about these is, is that they got a, a, a little bit higher quality potentiometers in there. And I got a reverse logarithmic uh, 1K potentiometer for the gain. And I think that they, uh, they sound better. I, I do think that they sound better uh, in, in general. And these are all the same. These are all the same. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have a pedal that got some straight knobs on them, all right? All right, so uh, if you are interested, just uh, go to Reverb and find my store. I'm Dad Tech. Dad Tech. Get your pedals at Dad Tech. And uh, you have a, have a good week, all right, everybody? All right, we're going to... We're going to just kind of play really loud on the way out, and then you can just turn it off if you just want to hear more of all-out type of stuff.